I'm Ash from Fetch Profits Academy. For a long time now, ever since Stripe has been launched, there's been a problem trying to connect Stripe with your website to sell your products and services or recurring subscriptions. You usually used to depend on, uh, let's say, a WordPress plugin or ninja tricks to do with coding if your website is on some other platform. It used to be a little difficult for small business owners and solo entrepreneurs. Things have changed now, thankfully, and Stripe has just launched a new product under its product portfolio called Payment Links using which you can add simple buttons on your website or even links to have people go and purchase your products, your services or your recurring subscriptions. Let's see how to do that in this video. Now here on your website, you will probably have a certain page on your website where you have a button or a link that points your potential customers to click on and then purchase your products, services or subscription packages. Similarly, I have a page on my website to help me sell blog posts either as a one-off purchase, a single blog post or maybe they can purchase an entire package where I do blogging for them month on month based on the package. Now earlier to use Stripe and integrate it with WordPress would require me to use a plugin or require me to know some ninja skills to do that coding, none of which I'm good at. With the new release of payment links, all I have to do is create a product in Stripe, pick up that link that associates with this product, add that link to the start now button right here so that people can go and purchase their blog. Similarly, I can add associated links with for each of my products here, which are subscription packages in essence and have them purchase monthly packages that allow me to provide them services. Let's find out how to do that inside Stripe. Once you log into your Stripe account on the left side panel under products, you will find a link called payment links. Click on payment links and on the page that shows up on the top right corner, click on the button that says new. You'll be able to create a new link for your product. Please do note that you need to create products first before you can create associated payment links. Now you might have products showing up right here as, as it were or you could click on add new product and a model shows up where you can add a product immediately right there on the fly. Now give your product a name, give your product a description, add a custom image, give your product a price and choose the currency from the drop down right here. Specify if it's a one time fee or a recurring fee. Add your ID, which is an optional thing. You also have additional options where you can give price descriptions if your price requires some sort of a description so that your customers can know. For the moment, I'm going to click out of this. I'm going to choose an individual product that I have available already. I'm going to choose my individual blog post. The preview is going to look like this in the window. You can also do a preview for the mobile view and the desktop view. There are ways to customize your checkout page by allowing promotion codes that your customers can use. You can also let customers adjust quantities so that they can pick multiple quantities if they have to. I sell digital products and digital courses and sell digital services, so I don't really require customers' addresses. So I'm going to uncheck the box that says collect customer addresses. But if you are selling physical products, you might want to check that as well. If you check it, this is how it's going to look like. It's going to take billing addresses only or billing and shipping addresses that you have options for. I'm going to just click out of it and uncheck the box because I don't need it at the moment. I'm going to just go ahead and click on create link, which creates a specific link for me that's associated with this individual product right here. I'm going to click out of this at the moment and show you the link that's been created. Here's the link that that's already been created for me for that particular blog post product that I have. I'm going to collect and copy this link to my clipboard, jump to my website here, go to the product where it says start now. Now this button can have a simple link that points directly to Stripe checkout. So I can just edit this page and add that link here. And when people click on this link, they'll be able to go to the Stripe checkout and then check out from there as it were. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please do feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching.